Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, like I'm trying out a new idea. Um, I'm gonna be playing three expo decks, starting with this one right here, the Queen Bow, and um, the other two decks are 3.0, just a normal one with Fireball, and then Ice Bow, obviously. And I'm gonna be basically just trying to see which deck is the best out of these three in this current meta. So yeah, um, we'll see you guys when I get in the first game. Okay, so I found the first game here against Mix from Stars Bait. Um, I haven't played Queen Bow in a long time, so... Okay, I kind of have a terrible starting hand for this gang. Um, so I might be a little bit rusty with it, but I'm still going to um, try and, like, get some wins with it, I guess. I can't really play a Queen on that Dark Goblin. I guess I could have played Tornado, but um, I don't really want to do that either, to be honest. Okay, so we just get a nice um, E-Spirit there. Take a couple hundred damage, but it is what it is. I'm just going to go for a Expo now because I have this Queen on the board, and... Oh, okay, that was bad. I thought uh, I didn't realize, or I didn't see that skeleton barrel before I logged. So, hmm, okay, so not a great start. Looks like he's just playing, like, double barrel bait. So there should be an okay matchup. I kind of have a rough start, though, so it could cause me to end up losing this, but we'll see. Um, with Queen Bow, I don't really know how to... Or I know that you're supposed to go, like multiple or both lane pressure like one lane with the queen and then the other lane with the expo sometimes but i don't really know like all the interactions and stuff with the queen because i haven't used it too much so i'm just gonna set up a tesla here okay that was really bad timing that dark goblin's gonna just take out the entire tesla shoot okay um hmm. all right so i'm just gonna drop e spirit in the back and then go for my tornado um oh, i don't i want to log that but i just don't think i should um yeah i'm gonna log this instead and then just go queen for the skeleton barrel so not a great start we're down like 1600 but i don't think he has a big spell or at least he did he has a fireball and not a rocket i'm pretty sure so we should be able to come back from this um i'm not going to pop the ability because i know he's just going to go delivery on top yeah so i don't want to waste that one elixir right there just gonna cycle my valk in the back i think okay that's really bad timing um, okay, so we're getting a little bit unlucky, but I know that we can come back if I just get one good expo lock right here. He's gonna go gang and then inferno. Yeah, I knew it. So I'm gonna log this off really quick. And that inferno still has a lot of health. Um, expo's gonna get on tower for like a couple seconds there, that's, so that's kind of decent. I'm gonna go... Whoa, that is a... Interesting barrel. I think I'm just gonna take the king tower activation right there. That was a very weird placement. I don't know about that one. Um... But anyway, I'm just going to cycle my queen in the back right here. Try and build up a push. He, will, he plays his delivery, so that's good with me. I'm just going to go with my Tesla up high, and then I'm going to log everything right here. He goes for a barrel, so I'll just go E-Spirit on top. My queen's also helping out. Um, he already wasted the ability, so I'm going to pop the ability now because that Dark Goblin would snipe the queen if I didn't. And then we're in a really good spot here. I'm just going to set up a Tesla first over here on the left. And he uses delivery, so this is good for me. Um, I can just go for a NATO to kill the skeletons right here. And then I'm going to go in with my own expo. Also going to go for an E-Spear right here. Um, he plays a Golden Knight, which is fine. I'm actually going to go Queen at the bridge and then pop ability right away. Um, uh, okay, so we get a little bit of damage. Um, Queen's still alive, too. He's forced to waste a skeleton barrel. That's really good for me. So now I think we're kind of in control of this game. I just need to keep playing aggressive. I'm going to go with another Tesla at the bridge here, and then go with another Expo. Um, okay, this is not good. I need to E-Spirit this. I'm going to have to tank that Goblin Gang, unfortunately. And then just go for a Valkyrie on zero right here. I should get a connection. There's no way I don't get a connection. I'm going to spam a Queen at the bridge. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, we're alive. I'm going to pop the ability. Oh my gosh, Queen on tower. No way. No way, no way, no way we win this. Yes, let's freaking go. Holy cow. Um, I don't even know how we got so much damage on that right side. I think it's because I just kind of had no elixir to defend. But we will take that win, and that was a crazy first game. Let's go, guys. Okay, found the next game here against GC. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, guys. I'm just going to go queen for this drill. Um, okay, that's kind of annoying. I kind of had... If I just had Valkyrie, I could have defended that way easier, but unfortunately, we didn't get that in starting hand. But it is what it is. Um, so we're down 600 damage off that. He's probably going to log this. Yeah, there's the log. 
Uh, I'm just going to set up a Tesla high here since I know I'm up a couple of weeks here. He's going to go Golden Knight in the back. I actually don't agree with that play. I don't know why he would um, do that because, yeah, I knew he was going to, I knew he had something. So I was hovering that uh, NATO right there. Um, and I just need to go for a, honestly, I think I'm going to go for a queen at the bridge on the other lane here because, he, oh, oh yeah, he's, he's so low. There's no way he defends this. I'm um, just going to pop the ability and we're going to get so much damage right here. Yeah, that was a really good play. Um, that's what you want to do with queen bow. I should have put an e-spirit down just in case something like that happened, but, um, is just kind of like dual lane pressure them when, especially in single elixir, like that's how I lose a lot of, a lot of the time to, um, queen decks is they just put the queen other lane, like, on zero, and you have no elixir to defend it, so. Really, really good start to this game. Um, if we choke this, I'll be pretty embarrassed, so I'm just gonna go for a... Yeah, I knew he was gonna drill, so I'm gonna go for a Valk, and then log the start goblin right away. Nice, the Valk catches the drill perfectly as well. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go with an Expo. I don't really expect to get... Actually... I'm gonna start a, or set up a Tesla first and see what he wants to do. Um, yeah, pull these over with a NATO. Don't need to take any damage here. And then I'll just go for an Expo now. Um, I don't really expect to get a connection here, to be honest, but I uh, just want to do it, like, to keep pressure on him. Um, we might actually get a lock. I'm gonna go for a NATO for all this. And yeah, we get a lock on tower, so this is really good. Um, he's going to go for a fireball last second, but it's already in one rocket range. So this game's pretty much over as long as I don't choke a defense here. Just going to set up a defensive expo where he can't fireball. And then 30 seconds left. All I need to do is play solid defense. He's going to go for... Oh, no. Uh, ah, we're fine. Um, he gets a golden knight connection on tower, but it is it is what it is. Like, It's not too much damage. So I'm just going to go for a Prediction Queen right here. And 10 seconds left, all I need is one rocket. Yeah, I think he, eh, yeah, he's pretty much, there's no way he can win this. And he's gonna give up. So solid win right there. Um, the key thing to that matchup was just going in like super aggressive um, in single elixir. And honestly, that's kind of the play with Queen Bow in a lot of matchups. So yeah, solid win right there as well. All right, in the, in the third game with Queen Bow here, um, I think I'm going to do three games for each deck. Um, except for maybe Ice Bow. I might just do two games with Ice Bow because you guys have already seen that. And, like, obviously, I already know how to play it and know kind of where it is in the meta. So he's going to go with a Prince here. I'm just going to go with a Tesla up high to snipe the Princess and then E-Spirit for the Prince. Okay, he has a Royal Giant. What in the world? Uh... This is kind of an awkward cycle. I'm just going to go for a log to protect my queen. And then, yeah, he's going to go dark goblin. So I'm actually going to have to pop the ability here, which is kind of unfortunate. But it actually gets a lot of value. And I know he's really low, so I'm just going to go Valk at the bridge. The only way he could counter this is if he has like a spell or something. Um, I'm already back to another queen ability too. I just realized that. So I'm spamming this on zero right here. Nice. We get it down. The queen locks on tower. And that's pretty much tower, guys. Oh, that is actually tower. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to go expo other lane. Screw it. Why not? I'm up like four elixirs, so. I mean, let's see if he just gives up or not. <laughs> no, he's going to go RG, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. I did not. That, that literally. That's This is the difference between Queen Bow and the other two decks that I'm going to play is I didn't even get a connection with, with my expo to like take the tower. It was literally just a Valkyrie Queen at the bridge, and he was too low on elixir to defend. So, honestly, really, really happy with how, like, how this deck is looking right now. It's looking pretty solid. Um, I don't know if it's the best out of the three, but we'll decide that at the end of the video. But anyways, we're up a whole tower here against this RG deck. There's no way we choke this unless I literally, like, lag out or something. So I'm just going to cycle Valk in the corner over here. Try and mitigate as much damage as I can. Um, he goes for a Prince. I kind of have... Alright, what is this? Um, I kind of have a terrible cycle right here, to be honest. He has Mega Knight all of a sudden, too. Um, I'm gonna let this actually jump, and then I'm gonna pull it away with the NATO. Go with the e Spirit as well, just to kind of stun it right there. And then I have my Valk ready if he wants to go in with an RG. Just gonna go for a log on top of the Start Goblin, and then pop the Queen ability as well. And 
he plays Skarmy, which is fine. I'm gonna go Valk on top of this princess right away. Um, okay, somehow my Valk's not hitting the princess. There he goes. Use Brick to chain all of that, and then we can just NATO these bats back, as well as the RG, and yeah, solid defense right there. Um, I don't even think it... Yeah, it might get one shot. Nope, it doesn't even get one shot. So yeah, really good win right here. Um, he's still not gonna give up. The Queen's really, really strong on defense, especially when they don't have a good way, like a good, like a lightning or something to counter it. If they have lightning, it's kind of a, kind of like a really bad scenario for you because they get so much value with that. But yeah, three games with Queen Bow, and honestly, I'd say I give it like an 8 out of 10 for strength. Alright, going up against NYDA here. Just gonna drop an Ice Spirit at the bridge. Oh yeah, we're playing 3.0 by the way. Um, oh boy, that's not the sign we like to see. Um, I think out of all the decks, 3.0 might be the hardest to play, in my opinion. Um, you kind of have to do a lot of things right, and you can't make many mistakes. This guy's going really, really aggressive, like, right- holy smokes. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Um... So, I'm just gonna go for a log on the blobs, and then knight up high to hopefully kite this E-Dragon away. Um, I thought the E-Drag was going to die to the Tesla, but it actually walked out of range. That's why I was kind of uh, panicking on the defense a little bit. But we ended up defending pretty well. But yeah, like I was saying, I think 3.0 is the hardest. I feel like the the most... You have to know how to play it the most out of all three of these decks. Like, you can you can play Ice Bow decently well without really knowing too much about it. Um, same with Queen Bow. But um, 3.0, you kind of have to have it mastered if you want to have success. So he's going to go Eagle him at the in the back here. I don't know why he played a pump in the middle. I'm kind of confused, to be honest. I'm honestly just going to go for a fireball and then log. I did it. Uh, those are really good arrows. But my expo is actually still going to kill the pump, so I'm definitely okay with this. I have no idea why he put that in the middle, guys. I've never seen somebody do that on top ladder, especially, like, an eagle one player. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I'm going to go for a pair of archers in the back since he just used his arrows and they're way out of cycle. gonna keep pressuring with this expo here as well um i can fireball this e-drag and it'll it'll die to the archers because um like it's gonna knock it into him so it's gonna reset the e-dragon shot um uh, i guess i'm gonna go for a tesla here on zero kind of have to try and defend this the best i can um, archers to the side over here and then i'm gonna go ice spirit for this um egg so it doesn't hatch for the bird egg and then gonna go with an expo to the right um people call the phoenix the bird i don't know why it's kind of funny to me but i i'm not uh, somebody that calls it that but honestly it's like kind of funny so i don't really care what people call it to be honest um, i just hope the bird gets nerfed that's all i'm gonna say so he's gonna go in with an eagle and i'm going to go for a fireball on top of all of this and then log to kill the healer never mind i missed the log because i'm garbage i'm gonna go knight and then <laughs> my Tower on the right is going to clean up those blobs, and the archers should clean up everything else. Just going to go with a Tesla high, and 15 seconds left. Yeah, we win this for sure. Solid game, honestly. Not a great matchup since he does have the arrows as well, so I don't really know why we won that. I think it's because we um, got a lot of damage, and he went way too aggressive in single. Alright, going up against Big Grizz 53 here. He's going to go with an aggressive gang at the bridge first play. Um, did he zap? I don't even... Maybe he didn't zap. I don't know how all my, my knight got that low, but um, just going to cycle my archer's split in the back. Um, before this video, if I had to rank these three decks, I think I would go with um, Queen Bow first, and then 3.0, and then Ice Bow at the bottom. But we're going to see. Um, I'm going to play Ice Bow like, after this and see how... Like, if it's gotten any better in this meta, because, like, the last video or two, like, it's been really, really bad, so. Um, we'll give, like, a one, two, three, like a, like a, what do you call it? Like, they do at the Olympics, the, the podium, the podium, like, that's what it's called. Um, of which deck is the best and which is the worst in this meta at the end. But, um, that RG's gonna get a shot. I'm kind of angry about that. How'd that get a hit? Um, I wasn't really paying attention, that was the, so that was my fault. Just going to go for a log on top of this gang right here. And it looks like he's playing RG Inferno Tower, by the way. I don't know what's going on with that, but I mean, <laughs> to each their own. So he's going to probably set up something. 
if he doesn't okay what is that fireball what in the world um he's already back to rg isn't he yeah that was a stupid expo um but anyways i should or i need to like figure out what i'm doing in this matchup because i don't really know how to play against rg with 3.0 um i'm not experienced enough so i'm gonna actually go for an ice spirit here and then play my knight in the back on the left lane here that ice spirit actually freezes tower so my archer gets a shot that's kind of clutch right there so i'm gonna split my archers again here in the center and he has a sparky okay interesting so gonna go skellies to tank for this first shot right here and then all right i played them terribly because it hit the knight too so guess i'll go with another tesla up high to snipe this he just fireballed my tower what in the world okay i'm gonna go archers in the back um that's honestly a terrible inferno tower too yeah it doesn't even kill my tesla so that's just like bad from him um, we're gonna spam everything right here because i know i'm up so much elixir and i'm also gonna go for an ice spirit to kind of freeze this rg hopefully nice oh my goodness how are we not locking on fireball this gang really quickly okay nice we get a lock on after all that and we're actually gonna be in the lead so that's really really hype um yeah the, his mistake right there was definitely just fireballing my tower i don't know what he's doing right there but anyways i'm going to go for another defensive expo since he's playing sparky in the middle archers should get a couple shots on that and then it should die to this expo i'm gonna log it just to make sure and then also gonna skellies cycle an ice bear at the bridge to try and keep pressure up and then split my archer play my archers same lane also gonna go with another expo here because yeah he wastes a fireball um and now he's pretty low i want to say on elixir gonna log for this gang and then just go skeletons ice spirit on top of the rg as well as tesla because i don't want to take any shots um, my expo is going to connect for a couple hundred damage here so that's really clutch um he's forced to log that right side as well because there were skeletons with that knight and we can just keep pressuring with expos on the left here even though he has rg in cycle like i know that as long as we keep getting his rg like making him play in this lane then there's no way he's going to get damage so um Sparky in the back, just gonna take a log here and then set up a Tesla. Cycle back to a defensive expo on this left corner. And he's gonna go for a goblin game. Interesting. Just gonna take the log on top of that. And then go knight archers for the Sparky. Um he's gonna fireball my archers there, which is kinda interesting. I'm gonna go skellies just in case for this rg and then gonna go with another defensive expo another pair of archers here as well um knight for the sparky he kind of played that at the bridge i don't know what he's thinking we're gonna get a really nicely timed log that's gonna hit the phoenix egg and the goblin gang so really clutch right there um pretty bad rg he's kind of getting desperate with 20 seconds left so um, should everything should die right there i'm just gonna go with another expo kind of just to keep pressure on him and force something out of him so he can't just build up a massive push and yeah, we should win this game. I'm just going to go for a fireball on tower to be safe. And knight on top of the RG right here. And I'm also going to go with the Tesla. He kind of predicted right there, but it's too late. Or too little too late. So yeah, we end up winning by almost 1,000 damage against RG. Against RG fireball. So I'm definitely pretty happy with that. Um, I still think that's a pretty solid matchup. For 3.0, even though he had RG. Just because the cycle's so fast. But yeah, plus 48, holy. In the next game with 3.0 here against M and U Jazz. So just gonna go Ice Spirit at the bridge, and then I guess I'll go log for these goblins. Cycle a knight in the back here as well. Um, Tombstone goblins. I don't really know what this is. Looks like he also has Phoenix, so I'm just gonna play my archers to the side here. Okay, he has poison, so it's probably a graveyard deck. Um, he's gonna go Ice Spirit to catch... Holy, he is going super aggressive at the bridge here. A really, really good log on all those zappies in the tombstone right there. And then just gonna drop skeletons to make sure this egg dies. Yeah, we're not in a terrible spot here, so... He gets a couple shots from those zappies, but now we know what he's playing. Um, and Archer should be a really good counter to his graveyard in this deck. Um, I need to figure out what he's playing, like, well, but I know he probably has a champion, right? So I need to figure out if it's Skeleton King or Monk. 
Um, okay, well, there's our answer right there, so that's actually way better for me, obviously. Even though it's still going to be kind of difficult, I'm going to go with a fireball here on all of this. And we should be able to counter everything pretty well. Um, good well-timed log here to make sure everything dies, as well as those skeletons. And yeah, pretty solid defense right there. Um, we pretty much know his entire deck right now. And I think I can win this as long as I just keep switching um, switching lanes to whichever lane I have less damage on my tower on. So he's going to go goblins. I'll just respond with a knight for those. And then... Gonna drop an expo here at the bridge. Also gonna go archers at the bridge. Um, Ice spirit to catch the phoenix, and then log to kill that egg. Um, he's just gonna pop the ability probably. Yeah. Actually, he doesn't even use the ability, so I can just play my archers and clean up this graveyard really easily. Yeah, this deck is super, super good against Graveyard. That's my favorite thing about 3.0 as compared to Ice Bow and honestly Queen Bow 2 is that you just don't have an answer for Graveyard that's going to be reliable every single time. But with this deck, you do, and it's really nice. So I'm just going to fireball these two Zappies right here. He's going to drop a Skeleton King, which is fine. I'll honestly go Tesla to the right side and then go Ice Spirit just to make sure it doesn't swing. Um, we might not get a lock here, but I'm going to play another Expo right away. Gonna prediction log for this tombstone. Well, I guess it wasn't really a prediction because he already placed it, but I was gonna log. Um, Ice Spirit at the bridge. We catch these zappies. Um, and then I can just go with the Tesla to finish off this last one. Okay, it's not gonna pop up, unfortunately. So he's gonna pop ability. Um, decent log value right here. And then I can just go with split archers again. And... I think now I'm just going to go for a knight in the center and try and, um, like, wait for him to go in before I play another expo. Just going to take this log on top of the tombstone. Okay, he actually plays a bad, um, poison right there because now I can just get a free defensive expo that's going to sit on the map forever. And he also plays a tombstone into it, just giving it more value, so this is a really good scenario for me right now. Just going to go for a knight in the back and try and build something up. That would be a decent fireball, but I'm not going to take it yet. I'm just going to go for a log and then skeletons, as well as archers to DPS stuff down. Okay, he goes with the poison, which I don't really know if I agree with. I'm just going to keep playing knights in the back. And another defensive expo here on the corner to just make sure that I can defend everything. Um, I'm going to go with my archer's log to protect this expo over here. I don't know why he went agree with a graveyard like that. But I'm just going to go knight and then everything at the bridge. Just trying to predict everything he's doing right now. We need to go for... Um, uh, do I... Honestly, I think we go for the fireball cycle. I don't think we go for the um, expo because there's no way I'm going to connect. And it's just going to give him a free poison. So I'm just going to play my archers in the very back here. He actually switches lanes. I don't know if I agree with that. I can just go with a log right here and then and another fireball on tower. Cycle back as quick as I can, and I should win the game right here. Six seconds. Oh, uh, okay, please tell me he doesn't get the best RNG I've ever seen. Ice Spirit to help clean up, and yeah, we win that game. Let's go. So really solid um, win right there because he... Like, he kept it really close with the graveyards. Uh, he didn't really even get too much damage from him, but I just couldn't get an expo lock that entire game. So we end up kidding that win, though, so pretty happy with that. Alright, you guys know what time it is. It's time to destroy some kids, because we run an ice bow now. Um, just gonna go for a knight in the back here to match that bomber. And if I lose a game with this, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Just gonna go with my ice twist to the side here. And Tesla up high to snipe this Phoenix. Not really sure what he's playing. I kind of have no clue right now. Maybe it's like a giant deck. But anyways, just going to go for... Okay, he has Earthquake. That's not good for me at all. I'm just going to take a log on the left, though. Not going to play my Expo yet because he probably has Giant in Cycle. Okay, or E-Giant. Um, I'm not going to go with my Expo, actually, because if I do that and he hears the E-Giant, I'm kind of screwed. So... Just gonna NATO everything back right here, and it should die relatively easily. 
Yeah, not bad. Um, let's see what he wants to do to respond to this Ice Wiz. He's actually going to go for the Mirror. I don't know if I agree with that play because I can just go for a Tesla over here and he doesn't have Earthquake and Cycle. Oh, he has freaking Flying Machine. That's great. Um, so this matchup's not looking good. I'm just going to, I'm going to have to be forced to Rocket here even though that E-Giant's almost like, is like a third of its health left. I still have to Rocket because there's no way I'm killing that Flying Machine. Like I have nothing in Cycle. So it is what it is. That's not the worst scenario ever. Um, yeah, we're down like three elixir, which is fine. I'll just take a log onto this bomber over here. And match his phoenix with my ice wheel. So yeah, not a bad situation at all. Um, this matchup might be actually pretty bad for me because of the flying machine mirror. If he abuses that like as well as he can, then I might be in a lot of trouble. So just gonna go with a Tesla here to help with this phoenix. He's gonna take the earthquake. I'm just gonna log. Honestly, I'm gonna rocket this flying machine because I don't want to deal with it right now. Or ever. I never want to deal with that card. Um, but. Um, okay, let me think. He's going with. So he can't mirror his E Giant since he played the bomber. Just going to go with my skeletons low and then play a knight right away to. Okay, this is not good. Gonna have to Tesla low. He's probably gonna earthquake this, which is fine. And. Yeah, I can just kind of wait right here and then nato everything off. Also going to play my knight so my ice wizard stay alive. Um, Tesla to snipe this flying machine. Yeah, okay, so then I have to burn this ice wizard unfortunately for the mini P.E.K.K.A., but it is what it is. I'm just going to go with an X1-0 over here because I need to force something out of him. And yeah, Bomber Earthquake, we definitely are happy with that because Earthquake's his best counter to my Tesla. So now that's out of rotation. Um, we can kind of just be patient here and wait for him to make a move. He's going to play Phoenix, so I'll just drop my Tesla now. Oh, this flying machine is very... Uh, what's the word? It's a lot of trouble for me. So I'm going to NATO everything in right here. Um, no, my tower's not hitting the machine. Rip gonna have to log this bomber too because if i don't the phoenix will hatch and then i'll be in some trouble um gonna go with the defensive x on my healthy tower now he got so much damage from that one flying machine holy cow tesla up high to snipe this one that he plays at the bridge and yeah he's gonna take that earthquake that's whatever we're almost in triple so i think triple is gonna be very much or a lot better for me than it is gonna be for him just because i can play defensive expos and then rocket cycle He's going to go with a flying machine again. I'm going to rocket it. Not rocket it. Tesla hits. And he's going to earthquake my tower. So I'm just going to take that rocket. He's going to go for the mirror. All right. So it looks like we're going to go for spell cycle. Um, I'm pretty certain I win this. Like I'm like 95% sure that I win spell cycle if we end up going to this. But we're going to see. Um, he's going to play another E-Giant. So we'll try and defend this with everything we can. Pull this flying machine in. To hopefully get sniped by a Tesla. And yeah. 20 seconds left, we can get two rockets down easily here. And yeah, even the mirrored earthquakes aren't going to be enough, buddy. So, we're going to go knight for the mini P.E.K.K.A. Also going to log the bomber. And yeah, this is GG's for sure. Um, NATO, and then even if he mirrors, I already have my rocket back in cycle. So, he goes for a flying machine. Too little, too late. And we actually almost took his entire tower, like two more seconds than we would have with the log and the NATO. But really, really clean gameplay right there, to be honest, against a pretty tough matchup, I'd say. Like, definitely at least an 80-20 for him because of the Earthquake and the Flying Machine, but yeah. Alright, in the second game with Icebow here, I think I'm only going to do two with Icebow since you guys already know, like, how I play and everything. Um, this guy goes with the Miner first place, so I'm just going to drop my Ice Wiz on top of it. And then, honestly, you know what, I'll just go with the next, but why not? Because I kind of already have an Ice Wiz going down the lane. So it looks like he's playing Mortar. Going to go with a Nato on the Skarmy. And then Knight for this Skeleton King. And if he activates ability, I should get a really nice log here. Yeah, he knows he's in trouble. So we should get a decent connection. Okay, yeah, nice. We'll probably just Fireball. Okay, never mind. He just goes with the Dark Goblin. I'm actually going to drop an Ice Wiz too. Force out a log from him just because I want to be annoying. 
And then I'll just go Skelly's on top of the Dark Goblin. Uh, we played him a little bit late, so it gets one shot. So a little bit of a mistake by me. But he's already BMing because he's down like a thousand damage. And against Ice Bow, you're kind of screwed if you get down that much, no matter what you're playing. Um, unless you're running like RG Recruits, Flying Machine, Mirror, Earthquake or something. So just going to keep up the pressure with another Expo. He's going to go with the Gang. I'll go with the NATO and then honestly going to log this off as well. Um, we get a connection again, dude. Oh, this guy, I feel bad for him. Um, he's gonna go with the Skeleton King on the left here. Gonna have to eat a bunch of Skarmy damage on that side, but I can't really do anything about it. And then I'm gonna have to drop a Knight on Zero too. So not a great situation, to be honest, but we should be all right. Yeah, we're fine. He's gonna get a lot of damage, but it is what it is. Um, we're still up over a thousand, so. As long as I don't make any mistakes, this should just be GG's already, so... Almost in double elixir as well, which is definitely my strong suit. Or this deck's strong suit. Not my strong suit, but... Uh, I'm gonna go for the log on top of the gang right here. And he's gonna take a fireball. That's fine with me. He can get this tower, like, decently low. It doesn't really affect me, because all I need is two rockets on his. So as long as I just don't, you know, lose the entire tower, we should be fine. I'm gonna go knight on top of this dark goblin, since he's gonna log those skellies. And then we can just set up another defensive expo right here in the middle. Um, this time out of fireball range. Uh, I kind of misplaced that last one, so it, he got the fireball on tower. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm just going to go for Tesla at the bridge here to kind of just make him play into me, if that makes sense. Like, I, I'm already setting up for what I think he's going to do. Um, I'm fine if he wants to go mortar in the middle like that. That doesn't, that's not a, you know, that doesn't really do anything for him. Um, but yeah, he's going to apply some decent pressure here ice boost kills the dark goblin so now i can just take my first rocket on tower here and honestly not even gonna play anything yet yeah i'm just gonna go ice boost at the bridge because i kind of want to make him play something on defense i think it would be funny um yeah so all i need is all three of my spells on tower and i'm gonna cycle my skellies and then just gonna go for a nato and take the rocket right away um this is a decent push from him but it's not gonna get there in time so yeah ggs He's gonna uh, throw up some emotes because he's a little bit angry, but honestly, I think all three decks were a little bit, like, performed a little bit better than I expected. Um, if I had to rank them, I would go with Queen Bow, number one, for strength, and then I think second, I'd go Ice Bow, and then last 3.0. Um, but yeah, this video was really fun to make, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.